Okay, this is a video about bottle feeding baby goats. So this is uh, Willy Wonka and Charlie. These guys are started bottle babies. They're a couple days old. But when you first start out bottle feeding, uh, babies can be very stubborn and it's really important to stay patient because uh, it takes time to get them to go on a bottle. Um, their mama does not have enough milk, so this is why we're on a bottle. Okay, so when you first start out, <clears throat> They're going to refuse to want you to put anything in their mouth, so you'll have to pry the mouth open a little, stick the bottle in, and try to close the eyes. Uh, if they feel like they're underneath the mom, then they will get on the bottle faster. Sometimes they'll play with it and things, so you'll tip it back over and, and look often to see if they're actually getting anything or not. Make sure you've got good flow. Uh, from your bottle. Make sure you've got a good temperature testing on your wrist, but if you have a thermometer, you're aiming for about 102, 103 degrees. Some babies like it a little bit warmer. Um, so, another thing is, is different types of bottles and different types of nipples. We've tried all kinds of different ones. We tried the black lamb nipples. We found those a little too hard for them to, to suck. Uh, we tried the red Pritchard's teats, um, and they chew those up, but those are good for weak kids. Um, really though, we've had the best luck with just a regular old baby bottle. Um, but you also get yourself a really good bottle chart. Um, overfeeding babies is one of the number one reasons that bottle babies die. Also, formulas are one of the number one reasons baby bottle babies die. So they'll be really better off if you don't have fresh goat's milk to go and get yourself some red cap milk just out of the grocery store um, than you are to get a formula. Um, there are only a few formulas that are that are good for baby goats. So I think one of them is Doe's Match or something like that, but you can't get it a lot of places. So, And you see he just drained this right down, but it's taken a couple of days to get him um, unstubborn. So the first 24 hours, though, are critical. That needs to be colostrum, and it needs to be every two hours. And one thing I found for my frozen colostrum is it's hard to get it through a bottle. So if you use a syringe, then be very careful because it's super easy to aspirate them. Make sure you've got a proper pitch when you're bottle feeding, the, as if they were under their mom. Uh, if you try to feed them straight down like this or on their back like a human baby, uh, the milk will go in the wrong stomach and that can make them really sick. So in general though, um, people disagree on how long to keep a baby on a bottle and how many bottles a day, but if you have a really good bottle chart and just follow that or, you know, we, we actually tend to wean on the early side. We wean it around two months, a little longer if they need. A lot of people are going by a four-month schedule, and that's fine. Either way you want to do it is fine. Okay, so that's bottle feeding baby goats.